Yes, hello. Uh, this is the automated greenhouse uh, system, which is meant uh, to help the Ugandan farmers. And this system, as you hear from the name, it's automated. It should help the farmers to do, uh, the greenhouse farmers, to manage their greenhouses automatically. And this is advantageous in such many ways. You know, for example, <coughs> uh, it can help them to produce, you know, crops all throughout the year. It can even help them to grow, uh, you know, vegetables and uh, any crop this system is allowing uh, our farmers to grow any type of crop, which as long as they know the specific environment conditions required for the crop to be grown. Now, this system is very important in such a way that in Uganda today it can help us to solve the problem of hunger and famine through year in, year out, you know, crop production, no shortages during some periods of the year, you know, you find when the vegetables are not available, they are scarce. So now this system can help farmers to grow such things all the way throughout the year, which will also help the consumers in that the costs of these you know, vegetables which they require will be at a cheaper cost. So now to demonstrate to you people how this system runs, uh, the system, when I'm running it, uh, this system, as you can see, it's called automated greenhouse system. Now the system has an interface which it starts with where you log in as administrator and you enter password. And uh, for security reasons, when you enter the wrong details, yeah, the system will give you a warning about a wrong username or password. So it will keep out all those who want to try and change the values in order to kill your greenhouse. So when you log in, uh, yeah, the system shows you an interface which has about... Uh, four modules you can see the temperature controls the light controls humidity and the soil moisture when you look at this you can set the you can set the amount of temperature you want for the greenhouse and then you click set then your system will now look at what is in the greenhouse and it will try to compare with what you have set so that it can avail the control modules for example for temperature we have the fan for light, uh, we have louvers which are automatically opened and closed if the light is more than the value you set. As currently, you can see the light is at 50. Uh, so, when you look at our graph, when you look at our graph, you see the graph is plotting at what is coming from the greenhouse. Uh, so, it tries to show you visually, visually, okay, the user of the system to visually see what is going on within the greenhouse. Now, uh, as it's plotting, it also gives you the time. You can see the time. You can see the time. It's recording the time when each change in temperature or any change in light intensity was made. <coughs> so the system as you see, is advantageous in this way that you know, someone just has to monitor the greenhouse from his or her computer without actually being at the greenhouse. Now, when we test this, when we test and we reduce the amount of light, you can see what's happening to our graph. Our graph is dropping down because the light is being reduced. Is being reduced. Uh, you see the light is being reduced from the greenhouse. So when we let go, you will see our light will start to rise slowly, slowly above the graph which you are seeing there. Also this system, given that, you know, under the light, it can help the farmers. For example, there are crops which don't need a lot of light. For example, those who are growing flowers, when they set a certain amount of light, then they can they can uh, be able to grow that crop. Hmm? Well, I, the, the way we are talking about is blocking the light. Okay? Yeah. And then it's back. Yeah. Have you put it? <laughs> uh, showing you what is coming from the greenhouse. So the system, also as I'm demonstrating above, it can be able to generate a report so farmers can know 
what went wrong or what happened where using this report that they see from the system they can be able to understand where uh, for example like a temperature change caused a certain effect onto his crop so he can monitor everything and he can print these monthly reports daily reports weekly reports and everything is stored as you can see it is storing for humidity light humidity and also temperature sorry temperature light and humidity so this report yeah someone can present to their bosses or if he's a greenhouse a manager he can present you can prevent this you can present this so when you when you run that report there to save it you can save the report so that you can easily distribute the report to anyone that you feel like via mail or flash disks so you save and unfortunately <laughs> my pdf is run out but when you save the file it will print for you the file and uh, uh, you can also get online help my better Okay, this is our control module. Uh, this is the one that controls everything which is concerning the greenhouse. But the instructions, as you can see, are coming from our computer right there. This computer is simulating either the computer of the greenhouse manager, so someone can remotely control the environment of the greenhouse. When you look at our greenhouse here, we have the Arduino board. This is the one which is processing all the instructions that are being sent from the user the other side. Now when you, when you look at the LCD, it is displaying the current temperature and light which are coming from the greenhouse. So all these things are in here combined. Uh, we have our sensors. Right here we have the light sensor. This small sensor here is the one that detects the amount of light. We call it the photoresistor. Uh, we we then have we have here our temperature sensor which is this black uh, element right here yeah that element then we also have our humidity sensor right here it's in blue it's a little dark but it's in blue so these are the sensors that pick the values from the greenhouse and they bring this all to the user to show everything that is happening if the temperature is high he can be able to monitor and reduce it from his computer now here we also have our simulation of the greenhouse this we are using this box to currently illustrate what our greenhouse would look like now uh, as you realize earlier the temperature is much higher than what we had set from the system we had set a value of about 15 20 there yeah but the greenhouse now the temperature sensor is reading a value which is much higher so when we look at the fan this fan is now running automatically to try and cool down whichever temperature is in this box right now if the temperature drops right below the one that has been set then this module will just stop cooling down automatically and then come back again when the temperatures go much higher so just a summary this system will be very helpful to the farmer because they can grow crops all the way throughout the year <clears throat> without any disruption and having total control of the environment in which they are growing their crops thank you